Hello and welcome to another episode of Brent Assault. Today I'm going to be showing... <laughs> okay. Uh, ignore my... You know, my hair, just for now, because it's just popping up. You, you can probably see that. But, today I'm going to be showing you how to prank your friends with this new thing that I found on the internet. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the search bar in the bottom left corner and search notepad. You're going to open it up and then you'll get this thing right here. Now in the description down below you can copy it but what I'm going to go put is this thing right here. So basically after you've typed this in you're going to go to file and save as and then you're going to go to the desktop and go type up the name of the app that you want to prank them with. So let's do um, like my 5k player. So we're going to do 5k player. But after that, you're going to do .vbs because it will act as an extension uh, and it's basically run as a script. So you're going to have to hit save. Make sure it's in the desktop. And you should get this right here. Now before you start this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, right click and create a shortcut and then go to the one with the shortcut and go to the properties with uh, and then you get this thing right here make sure you go to the shortcut and uh, before we tap with this we're going to have to go to the actual 5k player and double tap or sorry uh right click and go to properties and you'll get this as well. Now you see how how it says target and it's already highlighted. What you're going to do is you're going to do control C. Okay. And then you're just going to hit cancel. That's all you're going to do. And then you're going to go to the change icon of the 5k player dot VBS. And then you see how it also has it highlighted. That's where you do control V. And then press OK. You'll get this icon, which looks exactly like this one. Uh, looks right then you can click OK apply and you're all good it looks like this now lastly what you're gonna do is you're gonna go rename and you're gonna have it as 5k player now it might switch around make sure you look at which one's highlighted you you're not gonna actually want to click the actual application that you want to you want them to click the application that's highlight highlighted. So the original application, make sure you put it in the recycle bin. Don't actually delete the application. You're just going to move it to the recycle bin. And basically, when they click on the application that you set up. Oops, I didn't type that right. Hold on. Okay, I just forgot to add a quotation marks there. Okay, so if, uh, if anything, after you edit your code, you're going to have to go to file and save and then it should be able to uh, be applied on your prank app so you're gonna have to click on the 5k player and it'll get this error message now i'm gonna go tell you the codes uh here shortly okay so i got the code right here so as you can see in here i'm gonna go highlight everything for you but for the uh for the number before the plus sign the zero you're gonna have to put these here what these numbers actually mean is the response or the input so for example if i put in 0 plus 16 uh you're gonna get the okay button which is the only option because this zero is connected to the okay button so if i put one i'm gonna go make a uh real quick new notepad here. I'm also going to put this in the description down below so that you guys don't forget the code because that's kind of important. But let's just say that I want the yes slash no button. So that's going to be the code number four. You're going to have to replace a zero with four and that's what you get. After that you can just hit save and start up the application. I'm going to go to my 5k player and it's going to say yes or no. There's different functions in every single number that you see here. So there's function for the uh, 1, 2, 3, 1 through 5 and 16 through 64. So this number right here is basically going to be the picture that it will be displayed kind of as a like an icon or like the critical, the help icon, the warning. So uh, let me just explain this a bit more further. So if you go to the application, 
you'll get this X icon. That would mean the critical. And the reason why it has that icon is because you have the 16, which corresponds to the critical icon. So if I were to change it to the help icon, which is 32, you get to save and go back to the 5K player. You'll get, you'll get the actual help icon. And then it will be like a question mark. There's a caution sign. Uh, there's a, a I sign. There's like um, four icons that you could choose from. Right now, I don't think there's any more icons that I do know. But if I uh, do know, it will be in the description down below. So anyways, onto the prank. You can see where uh, the actual description and the title is. We're going to have the title as error or something. And we're going to have the description as unable to run 5k player would you like to and your pc and then we already have the response of four which is yes slash no and the 32 sign as in like a help uh but for me i'm gonna do the information icon which oh again we're gonna go hit save start up the application and you'll get unable to run 5k player would you like to scan your pc now the responses don't matter because i haven't really gotten into the point where it's like if they put yes then it'll do this if they put no then it'll do this i haven't really learned that yet all i know is how to prank somebody so let's just say yes uh and it's just going to close the application because we haven't written uh, written any more code than that so we're gonna type in the same thing which is the description and the title and then you can actually just change the description into uh, virus detected or something and once again you're gonna have to go to file save and start up the application unable to run would you like to scan yes virus detected would you like to remove the virus now i do have the 48 so it's going to show the warning icon and you, you can have multiple lines uh infinitely many uh, if you'd like to like scare them even more so i already have an example of this in my google chrome it looks like the regular google chrome but really it's disguised as a code okay unable to fix this error do you want to scan your computer yes Alert, virus has been detected, and you, you can look, just have this happen to any computer. Now, it is a bit different, but this is the most recent one, so if if you're having trouble to change the icon, I just showed you, just go to the beginning of the video for me to show you. So you have all these uh, messages, and then I did eventually apologize, saying that this was a prank, there was no virus, actually, and it was made by me thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next video <laughs> that was a bad outro but goodbye